Hi guys and welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to go over KiCad 5.0, or really just more generally KiCad, because we're going to be going over some of the buttons that are maybe less common for you. Uh, these are things like the user grid, uh, the, which is what we talked about a little bit in the last video, but then also the grid origin, the layer alignment targets, and then some actual alignment targets as well. There's so many that I've already forgotten what they are. So let's just take a look at them on this, because uh, this gets a little bit confusing, and, uh, and a lot of it actually ties over to the manufacturing space. OK, so this is the board that I've been working on. Uh, and you can see that it's actually on this large sheet here. right? So like any, any KiCad design actually is drawn on what looks like an engineering print. You see there's a little, the little uh, uh, basically it shows you the title. You can fill all this stuff in, I believe, up here. Yeah, so you can fill in the revision, the title, whatever you want to, like it's an old engineering drawing. So that's kind of just a holdover. And a lot of this stuff actually is like a holdover from the past. But what the first thing I want to show is the uh, the where zero zero is because what we're talking about really down here is that zero zero is the absolute unit of measure for this for this uh, drawing, right? And so zero zero is almost always located in the upper left corner here. Now I've got it on I'm in millimeters right now, and I'm actually on the five millimeter grid. We can switch it to a little bit smaller here. Let's go to one millimeter at a time. And really, that just allows us to get a little bit closer here. But you see, the zero zero is somewhere, somewhere around here, right? So it's actually oh, it's a, right that white line. Now you see that I'm hopping around it, and there's a reason that I can't actually do it, and that's because the zero zero is right at the beginning of that white line, or that corner of the white line. But the actual problem is that I have set my what this thing is here, the origin point for the grid. I've actually set that as my center point of my board. Now I did that because for a few, for a few reasons. The first and foremost is that I center, I centered the outline, which is actually a, a footprint file. I centered everything on my board to this point, and that's actually a really useful tip for uh, if you're lining up art, if you're doing art in another program. If everything starts at zero zero, and for some reason, you know, I showed in the last video too. If I deleted a file by accident, I can come back and I can drop it onto what my zero zero is. This, uh, the zero zero is the center origin grid here. And from here, basically, uh, I can I can easily drop the art under here. Now, what does this actually mean, though? So this is the 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 start the origin point for the grid. What that really means is that this is actually off center right now. So I'm actually placing this on a a non uh, dot. And again, it might be hard to see on your screen, but there are if you look on your version of KiCad, there's there's dots that actually show the the grid point. Now I can change this. Right now, it's, it's set a little bit off that grid, but I can go and change this. And if I set it here, this is actually on the one millimeter grid. So now if I set it there and I go back up to that corner, I should be able to mouse over the zero, zero point without problem. That did not work. <laughs> Let's see if we can figure out why that was. So that is the origin point for the grid. Ah, I see. So it's actually still a little bit off from that grid. So what I would need to do is if I want to reset the whole grid to 0, 0, I would actually need to go to a smaller uh, a smaller uh, version here. And you see how the 277.58, 5756, whatever, I'd actually have to find the, uh, I'd have to actually find a dot zero 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 point and then set it on that. And that really just resets that grid uh, onto the, the 0, 0, 0. Now this is useful for a lot of reasons. You might want to do this because you want to switch back to being on a one millimeter grid, and that's something I do often when I'm, uh, I do that often when I'm actually doing panelization, which is something we'll go over in future videos. All right, so let's see if that actually worked now. So if I go back to, oops, if I go back to zoom, uh, grid, one millimeter, I should hopefully be able to zero mouse over zero zero, and you see now zero zero is mouse overable because what I did is I, ju I adjusted that remainder term down here in the x, y. So now everything's on the zero, the one millimeter grid. And so that's how you can kind of start to reset stuff as well. Now there's other buttons down here in the lower right. This one is actually the auxiliary access origin for some plot file formats. Now I just go and I place that in the same spot. I did that right here in that same center spot where I had the origin grid. Um, and this is just because I was just kind of covering my bases. This is actually not what I would use it for. But the reason you'd use this is because in here, uh, you can actually switch it so it's on a different grid. Here we go. So it's this this button here. So use the auxiliary axis as coordinates in the plot file. So what that means now is that when I go and make Gerbers out of this thing, it wouldn't. So usually, if I pr printed this to Gerbers, right, it would actually print it down and to the right. 
And so it would do that. In this case now, if I have the 0, 0 and I use that as the auxiliary axis, now it's going to center the whole thing around 0, 0 on the Gerber files. And that can be useful if you're, if you're trying to play around with the files or if you're doing some, some manufacturing things that you need to do. Uh, and the last piece is this alignment target. Now, I have actually never figured out what this is. I was reading some of the forums. If you go over to forum.kiked.info, there is a forum thread about this. Uh, I've never used it, honestly, but I believe this is actually from uh, manufacturing. So you could place multiple alignment targets. And what you do is that if you have a multi-layer design now, basically the fab can see, oh, well, these actually get printed on different layers, and you can try and line them up. Uh, I guess so. I don't. I honestly have never used them. I've never been asked to use them, but I believe this is part of an older, um, you know, just from manufacturing side of things. So um, yeah, and let's take one last look here. Uh, this is something that I showed in the last video. If you didn't see it, it's uh, moving, and uh, if you just saw, saw a moving thing. So I'm going to say Control M. I have to be over a component. Control M. And this is the move exactly, right? And this actually allows us to do the same thing. So what we're doing is we can move it from the current position. So we can move it you know, five millimeters to the right from where it was. We can also do that from the grid origin, which is what this white one was that we showed. That's, I'm setting that. There's also the user origin. So if I set it with a space bar, right? So I now set the DX, DY down here. That's the user origin. So if I select this, we should be able to Control M. Now we see the user origin is enabled. There's the drill in place origin, which is that red one that I showed. And then finally, there's the sheet origin, which is the 0, 0 in the upper left corner. And so what this, this allows you to do is basically you can use these, you know, while you're doing layout, you could actually use these as different markers if you want to. You can set, you know, you can set your grid in 0, 0 from various places. Uh, but uh, that allows you to also, you know, do some interesting things with math and allow to place in different, uh, different spots around the board. So uh, there's a lot of grid stuff here. And honestly, if you're getting started in electronics, uh, it can be a little bit confusing because why should you care about all the different origins and all the different spots that are around in the first place, right? Uh, as you get more and more into electronics and manufacturing specifically, you're going to figure out the reason for this stuff. You know, even into the world of pick and place, and you may have seen there's a video that I have about a pick and place machine. This board that I'm showing actually is something that I took and used on a pick and place. And the moving the grid origin and the place uh, the drill and place origin was really, really great because now I, I set the zero zero for uh, for that for the first component, which was allowing me to basically say, okay, now the first component's at zero zero, and everything was referenced off of that, which was specific to the machine I was using. Like I said, some of these are advanced topics, and you'll get there eventually. Uh, if you want to get there, we teach all this stuff at Contextual Electronics. You can check out more at forum.contextualelectronics.com where we talk about this, or you can actually go to contextualelectronics.com where we uh, actually have courses that you can buy and be part of. Uh, if at any time you want to talk about KiCad, there's forum.kiCad.info. That's a great place to go and ask stuff. Like I said, I looked up some of these answers myself because sometimes it's you know there's just the knowledge of the group really helps. So uh, looking forward to more videos here about different origins and uh, manufacturing stuff and KiCad in general. Thanks for watching.